All right, hello everybody. Um, this one we're going to look at the Imperial Defense Emplacement, and uh, this is going to be a quick unboxing and assembly. So, uh, box here, nothing too special. It shows these three kits. So these three are going to do unboxings for, and shows you some uh, ways you can set these up. So, um, one thing I do notice with these kits is that they say on them that they're assemble uh, made in China. So uh, that's GW's. Um, Scenery seems to be made in China, and I think they have uh, different tooling over there because these are the less detailed. Okay, so there's basically nothing in the box but a single sprue, and um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot of assembly here. We've got these pieces here are going to go on the fronts of these, and um, just clip these off and uh, clean up the sprue, and that'll be it. So. Let me just clip those off off camera and I'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like put together. Alright, so I've got everything cut off the sprue and uh, cleaned up any of the bits where the mold went on. So you can see this is um, rather simple. They've got little tabs on each one of, the, ones of these here. So what this uh, goes together, this kind of gets, gets in there nicely. I'm supposed to. Okay, so those don't actually clip, they just kind of help keep everything aligned. And uh, so the idea is that you can line this up, and these two guys can go on the ends. So obviously there's open spot here for either more things or for guys theoretically to access it. So I'll glue uh, these front pieces on, so there's three of them, and I don't think it really matters which one goes where. Uh, and in fact, on the back of the box, they show two of the ones that go like that. So they, they actually show it wrong, because you don't get two of those pieces. So anyways, and here they do the same thing. They have two books and the skull. I wonder if they get it right on the front. No, they don't. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, this one here with this crest on the middle piece. This one is the middle piece, I guess. And um, to make sure I get lots of glue. I find that these scenery guys, um, the glue doesn't uh, like to stick great if they're using the extra thin stuff like I, I like to do. So uh, it's important that you get lots of it on there. And let's give it a good push. I'm do that with all of these. So I like to use sort of gel type glue. Um, the GW regular plastic glue would probably be fine. I just uh, don't like using the, the extra thin stuff on the scenery. I find it doesn't work as well for whatever reason. I think it's because, uh, so these molds, the ones made in China, um, I think it's GW's older uh, molds uh, or older machines, so it's not nearly as detailed, and um, which is why it's fine for scenery. Um, but uh, it also means that things don't fit quite as nicely together. And yeah, for scenery that's fine. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, you have one piece that uh, goes on an angle, and then you have these two end pieces which can go anywhere like that. Okay, so to, uh, check out my other tutorials. I'm gonna do, I've got an Imperial Bunker uh, to come, as well as the Imperial Defense Line. 